Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to go over uh, the explode modifier in Blender 2.46, the new version. Woohoo! So, uh, before we get started, uh, don't forget to go to form.nistic.com if you have any questions. A lot of people private message me about pr uh, Blender questions, but you're supposed to go to form.nistic.com to ask them because I don't have enough time to answer hundreds of fan mail questions and all that stuff that I get and work on the tutorials at the same time. So please go to form.nistic.com. Um, also, in the description, there's a link to a topic where you can vote on what kind of, kind of game you would like uh, that's going to be in the next tutorial batch. So don't forget to vote on that and just give your input and suggestions on what you would like in the uh, game series that I'll be doing. Also, uh, I encourage all of you uh, to participate in the 100 tutorials in August. Just write one or two tutorials uh, that you make, tech tutorials, video tutorials, uh, whatever you want to do, and post it on Nistic. Uh, there's instructions there. Uh, there's also a link in the uh, video description on YouTube. So I encourage you all to just write a tutorial or two and just kind of help each other out. Uh, just user to user tutorials instead of me making you know all the tutorials kind of help you um, everyone helping out everyone else so let's ho go ahead and get started so what we want to do we want to get rid of our uh, little default cube here we don't want to use this today hit the spacebar add mesh UV sphere default settings fine okay so what we're gonna do is we are going to go down to our object tab F7 uh, again like I will say go to the particle buttons add new and what we can do is just stick out our normal here just a bit a little random we'll test that seems reasonable enough got a little bit more probably at about 5,000 particles or amount of particles and then we hit random and even right there and that should be just about good enough uh, for now so we have our faces randomly coming out okay good enough so now all we have to do is we have to go back to the editing tab F9 go over here to add modifier click clicker and go and find explode click on that so now when we go here and hit alt a uh, you can start to see uh, faces coming off here and what's it doing it's just kinda exploding um, the entire mesh here so we want to go back to our particles and edit this a, a bit more probably give the normal a bit more uh, Four, so it comes out faster uh, than. Well, we don't want to give it too much because then it'll just start splitting face after face. So I think maybe 0 0.5 seems good enough to me. Um, it'll just come out like that and it'll just kind of explode. And you can add like a kind of uh, particles behind that. Uh, to make it look more like fires coming out or or whatever that's uh, going out of the thing and we just probably add a little bit more random a um, little bit more life uh, to the particles 250 frames um, you can just kinda mess with all the features that uh, you want to just kinda get the explosion uh, how you want it and so the other thing I'm gonna do here other thing is this gonna go over to point and we're gonna set none and hit render emitter so we don't have to worry about those little dots when we're only looking uh, really at the faces and for this to work you have to remember if you're animating it I just hit all A um, to start uh, all the faces exploding everywhere you have to start on the first frame you can't start like on another frame or else uh, it won't work so if I hit spacebar to just stop this uh, because I want to 
uh, sorry, space bar won't work. You just I'm using the arrow keys to toggle through these. Uh, so right now I'm on frame 93. Good enough. We're gonna camera, make sure everything is good, and we just hit F12 to render. And as you can see, there's our UV sphere just completely being obliterated. Uh, so you can have fun with that. Uh, it's a great thing to add in an animation or anything where you just want to have something explode, a building, a person, whatever you want to do. Um, and from where you can just uh, add particles uh, behind it to make it more look like an actual explosion. But that's how you make uh, the meshes explode in Blender. So that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to vote on the uh, game genre and just give me your input on uh, the series, how you'd like that to go so it doesn't end up being a game about pink ponies. Also, um, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any uh, new tutorials that are coming out because we're going to have some really fun tutorials and like I just said, we'll have that game series coming out. So you don't want to miss that. And if you have any questions, please go to form.nistic.com. There's a link in the video description. Um, and instead of private messaging me on Nistic or YouTube, just go there. They'll quickly answer your question. I could take, I've taken uh, a month to get back to, uh, and I've had like a hundred messages. Uh, to reply back to and so it it might take me a really long time because I get really busy sometimes and so just head on over to form.nistic.com I know you guys complain about me advertising but it's there so you can get quick help instead of waiting a month for me or a week or two for me just to reply to your messages because I do get very busy so anyways that's it for this tutorial I hope you learned a little bit uh, about the explode modifier and I hope you have fun and please do uh, make an animation, post it on YouTube, and uh, uh, share it with uh, the rest. I'd like to see what you guys come up with. So that's it for this tutorial, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye.